Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. And right now you can get this sweet scoop soldier sticker when you order over at cardkingdom.com. Just mention in your order notes that you want a scoop soldier sticker when you go to check out. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So as you know, Tuesday means it's Type 2 or Standard Tuesday, and we have a sweet one to look at today. This is the return of Arclight Phoenix, but not just Arclight Phoenix. We have multiple Phoenixes. Now, is it Phoenixes for Standard? And this build comes to us from Sayatu Takahiro, who took it to a top eight finish in a small Japanese tournament. So congrats to Takahiro on a really sweet deck. And a quick reminder before we break down, is it Phoenixes for standard. If you enjoy this deck and you want to see it made to videos, take a minute, click the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment, anything you can do to support your deck, because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being made into videos next week. So, is it Phoenixes? In one sense, marks the return of Arclight Phoenix to standard. There was a time right after Arclight came out where Is It Phoenix was a really popular deck in the format. It's kind of faded away as new and more exciting stuff has come around. But thanks to some big additions from Theros Beyond Death, we have a lot of power packed into an Is It Phoenix style deck. So Arclight Phoenix, you probably know what this Phoenix does. If it, we could get it into our graveyard and cast three or more instants or sorceries in a turn, we get it back for free. So ideally, we want to mill it over, discard it, however, get it in the graveyard yard and get back as many arc lights as possible by casting cheap spells this is phoenix number one the big new addition to the deck one of them is phoenix of ash so phoenix of ash unfortunately doesn't come back for free like arc light phoenix however it does come back from our graveyard so the same plan works we want to get phoenix of ash into our graveyard although it is better to cast an arc light phoenix and then we can escape it back into play for four mana as a three three with haste this gives us a ton of really hasty very evasive flyers that can close out the game super quickly so this is kind of the centerpiece of our deck getting phoenixes in the graveyard getting them back our other graveyard plan is ox of Agonis. so ox of Agonis, only two to escape but does require eight cards so it's going to be a little slow coming back from the graveyard but once it comes back from the graveyard or if we cast it naturally which we can for five mana it not only comes into play as a five three with a plus one plus one counter but lets us discard our hand and draw three cards so it's another way we can refuel after emptying our hand so this gives us a total of 10 creatures that cheaply or even for free can come back from our graveyard so this is what we're trying to do with the deck the question is how do we stack our graveyard how do we get these creatures back so our most powerful graveyard stalker is the royal scions this is our forgotten three mana planeswalker three mana is a planeswalker the plus one is loop so this is a way we can just draw a card discard arc light phoenix discard a phoenix of ash discard an ox whatever we want to discard we can also make our creatures bigger in trampling which is a nice way to force through damage and if we ever ultimate we get to draw a Bunch of cards deal a bunch of damage so this is one easy way to just discard arc light phoenixes discard phoenix of ash so we can get them back from our graveyard we also have merfolk secret keeper which is an early game blocker but more importantly the venture deeper side is just one mana sorcery mill for four we're milling ourselves not our opponent we're not trying to mill our opponent out of the game but this is a way we can mill over our phoenixes our oxen and it's a cheap spell so this helps count towards those three spells a turn to get back our arc light phoenix as far as the rest of the ways to pull this off we have a bunch of can trippies type stuff radical idea thanks to jumpstart we can discard a card with it thrill possibility just straight up lets us discard a card to draw two cards discovery can't discard a phoenix from our hand or an ox from our hand but it can't surveil it over into the graveyard we're not casting dispersal we don't even have black man in our deck so these cards do double duty they're ways we can get our phoenixes and oxen in the graveyard they're also cheap spells where we can cast uh, like a venture deeper a radical idea a radical idea that's only five mana that's three spells getting back all of our Arclay Phoenixes, and then potentially coming along with some Phoenix of Ash the next turn, some Ox in the turn after that, to have this repeated hasty damage from our graveyard. Otherwise, the main focus on the rest of our spells is being cheap. Opt doesn't do a lot, it just turns into a new card plus Scry's one to give us a little bit of selection, but it's another cheap spell to trigger our Arclight Phoenix. Same with Shock and also Lava Coil, cheap removal spells that add up towards those three spells a turn to get back our Phoenixes and win the game. Mana base-wise, pretty simple, 
eight dual lands, a bunch of basic lands. Worth noting, the deck only has 20 lands in all, which is not a high number. We're mostly leaning on our cantrips to be able to find our land drops, and we do have a lot of cantrips, so keep that in mind. We are a land light deck, but that allows us to pack in more action because we're playing more of these cantrips. Kind of the Xerox theory, as it's called in deck building. Sideboard-wise, most important card, probably Crackling Drake. This is our answer to Graveyard Hate. With our main deck, if our opponent plays like a Leyline of the Void, we are very sad, we probably lose, it's really, really bad for us. Crackly Drake, on the other hand, doesn't mind our cards going into exile, because its power is equal to the number of instants and sorceries in our graveyard or in exile, so if our opponent's bringing in Graveyard Hate, we can kind of jank him out by bringing in Crackling Drake, have this massive, huge, flying creature to kill our opponent in a couple of swings. Otherwise, we get about a million counter spells of all varieties, some more removal, Ember Shieldbreaker, good against Cat Oven and other artifact decks, also can uh, get rid of of an Ember Cleave, but we do take a hit because of the sorcery speed. And that is, is it Phoenixes for standard? And that's better as a deck tech for today. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.